Here are the new Apple Arcade releases for October 2023. Spoiler, it's a eh month. Coming on the 6th of October is Jeopardy World Tour. Do I want this on Apple Arcade? No, but maybe someone out there does. This one is a mobile adaptation of the Jeopardy classic game show that I never watched and never will. In the game, you can play with others online or offline by yourself. You'll go across the globe to test your game show trivia in different cities and unlock prizes and rewards. Each city offers new challenges and opportunities too. Enjoy thousands of clues and categories, climb global leaderboards, unlock power-ups, and there is more I just don't feel like explaining anymore because ugh. unlike the original free version on Apple Arcade, you will have no in-app purchases for bundles, packs, premium content, and there will be no ads. This is basically the, the premium version. Arriving on the 13th of October is Cut the Rope 3. This one I'm pr pretty happy with, I guess. Cut the Rope 3 is a brand new adventure that starts with a new map. Players will set out to explore uncharted territories with the game's protagonist, Omnom, and little Nibble Nom. You'll discover new locations and unique levels full of puzzles. When you solve these puzzles, you'll find new species of nommies. The game is said to feature iconic characters you know and love, and signature gameplay mechanics, along with new challenges and physics-based elements that will excite fans of this series. Or so they say. The big difference with this version, and I don't know if it's a good thing or, or a bad thing, is that it doesn't have candy that you have to get to Omnom. Instead, it's about getting nommies and stars to Omnom. Next is Crossword Jam, releasing on the 20th of October 2023. Crossword Jam takes crossword style word games to the next level, featuring fresh daily challenges that players can use to wind down for the day and relax to a mellow crossword. Players can simply swipe and connect letters to find words and boost their vocabulary. The game does feature cool background scenarios, I'll give it that, that can probably put you in a relaxed mood if that is what you're looking for. Obviously, as you solve puzzles, they will get harder to match your growing word skills. I just, I just don't imagine many of you watching will be interested in this one, but um, some of you maybe, I don't know. I don't know, let me know if you are, I'm interested. Finally, on the 24th of October is NBA 2K24 Arcade Edition, definitely the highlight of the month. Along with the return of the greatest mode, this year players can customize their indoor my court, hone their skills, and then invite their friends via Game Center to witness their greatness, if it works, because they can never find a multiplayer game in these games. The same modes return as well, obviously, with some new features though. For my career, players can now create their avatar and customize their fit with new shoes, accessories, outfits, and custom tattoos. That's kind of cool. In the greatest, players can challenge new goats and unlock a whole new lineup of NBA superstars and legends. And for play now, new this year, players can sit courtside with spectator mode and play games matching the NBA season with NBA today. I don't know, I, 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 I quite like these games. I'm quite looking forward to this one. It's obviously not on the level of the PC and console version, but you can get by and you can have fun here. And last year with the addition of in-game commentary, it really does make it feel a lot more closer to the console and PC version, so yeah. What do you think of these new Apple Arcade releases from October 2023? Are you impressed or utterly disappointed? Me? You're asking me? Well, I'm disappointed, especially with the announcements of some great games leaving, like The Pathless and Nuts. The Pathless. I love The Pathless. I get with the subscription services that games 
have an expiration date with contracts and all that stuff. But Apple continued to remove really high-class indie games and then replace them too often with hyper-casual or these little puzzle games. I mean, people must be playing these type of games if Apple continued to add them, or I, they, I guess they wouldn't, but I just don't know what's going on. Anyway, leave a like if you at least found this video helpful, step to date uh, with the service. You can also uh, help me out by subscribing and turning on notifications because hopefully next month in November, we have a, a stronger lineup of games to look at. My name's Stewie, and thanks for watching.